Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video. So I'm gonna show you guys something that will absolutely blow your mind. I know at least it did for me and I can still barely believe that it exists right now. Basically two people in the Dokkan subreddit, Marketin3 and Thieving6, they've been working tirelessly for I don't even know how long, a very very long time to bring us an English translated version of JP Dokkan and now the first iteration is finally out in the wild and ready for us to test out. As you can see, I'm clearly on the JP version of Dokkan right now. This is the Android 17 and Android 21 banner. Move down here, there's the Android filler banner and here is a Japanese version of the Friend Summon banner as well. Obviously, this isn't global anymore, but there's something different about this version of JP Dokkan. You go to the homepage, there's a Kid Gohan. You know, freshly rerolled account, nothing to see here, right? But you click on this kid and boom! <laughs> He's in English! Look at that! Exploding Rage Gohan Kid. If we were on the regular version of JP, I would have no idea what that says. Well, I would know that this is a kid Gohan. Well, I would have no idea that his rage is exploding and now I know thanks to this translation. And if you go here, his leader skill, his passive, his links, most importantly his links, they're all translated guys. This is a major sticking point for a lot of English speakers in the past about not wanting to play JP because they couldn't read what the links were and everything. They would have to go to DBZ Space or the Dokkan Wiki to search every single card and it would just be such a pain in the ass to build teams and all those things. But now you don't have to worry about that stuff. It's all right there in the game for you. And here the category is still in Japanese but if you click on it, you know, it's in English. It says Hybrid Saiyans. All the units in the category are also in English. So if you want to build that team, it's going to be much, much easier. And this is just such a revolutionary thing in Dokkan, guys. Like, this is the biggest news in Dokkan for a very, very long time. Another thing I want to show you, by the way, go out of here and here are the missions. In the past, right, it was such a pain in the ass to figure out what the missions wanted to do. You wanted to get those Dragon Stones, you wanted to get those Kais, you wanted to get those Orbs. You couldn't because you couldn't read the missions. Now you go to Special Missions. And it's all in English, and as far as I can tell, all of them are translated in English now. So let's say you want to figure out, oh, I want these Dragon Stones. But in the past, you're like, I don't know what it says. Now you know they have to clear all stages on Z-Hard of the new campaign. You go to this one, let's say you want this, you know, Elder Kai medal. Now all I have to do is clear a stage 10 times without using continues. It says with using continues, but I'm pretty sure it means without. Of course, there's still some kinks that need to be worked out and some things that need to be fixed because it is the first version. But, you know, little things like that don't really matter. Overall, it's still a huge, huge improvement from what we had before. Um, let's say you wanted, you know, this Hercule statue. All I have to do is use 100 stamina. You would not have known what that said in the past. But anyways, um, Core Missions 2, Core Missions 2 all translated guys this is such a massive massive just a huge thing man like i <laughs> i cannot express how crazy this is i never expected a day like this to happen at least in my time as a dokkan player and i hope you guys are excited for this as well honestly i haven't had the time to fully go through what this version has to offer but as far as i can tell all the important things are there you know, the links the passive skills the um, missions and all the things they're all in english now so if you want to go in right now and play the game you know effectively efficiently with no issues then you can go right ahead. As far as I can tell, the um, story isn't translated yet, but let's be real. The Dokkan storyline is kind of whack, and nobody actually pays attention to what's going on in the Dokkan storyline, so that's not important. It's a major undertaking. I don't know if they you know, plan to do that for the future, but I don't really don't think they need to do it, because, like I said, who cares about the story? Now, the rest of it, I'm going to leave for you guys to discover. I just wanted to show you guys you know, a little overview of what you can expect when you get this version. One thing I do want to say is that we're not really sure what's going on in terms of the Bandai Akatsuki side because this is so new that it's kind of hard to tell if if or when they'll do something about it. I, I, I don't know if they will, but there's, there's a chance, right? They might want to do something about it. So for the time being, it is kind of a use at your own risk kind of situation. Um, you, can tr you can transfer your main JP account over to this version with no problems and still play it. And there will still be the English, but again, there could possibly... I, Basically, I don't know anything. I can't guarantee there won't be something. So right now, I'm going to be playing it with a fresh account. So in case I something happens, I might lose it. I'm not going to be too sad. But like I said, use at your own risk. Now, that's out of the way. Let's go into how to get this version for yourself and to test it out on your own device. As far as I know, this is only for the 
Actually, no, I've heard that it does work for the iOS version as well, but I only know how to get it for the Android version because I don't have an iOS device. I have Android devices, more of an Android person myself. Sorry about that, guys. But if you guys do want to get it for your iOS device, I believe in the comment section, there are some people that will tell you how to do that. Comment section of the Reddit post, that is. So now first step is to go to the Reddit post, the original Reddit post where uh, all the information was released. I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can follow along. So I'm gonna go over to the Reddit app right now. Uh, having some issues, here we go. Reddit app, it was made by Markinen3 about 12 hours ago. Now there are a couple steps. Everything is very, laid out very, very um, simply so that everyone can follow it. But I'm gonna do this video as well just so it's even easier for those of you who get a little bit confused. I know that sometimes it can be hard to read instructions without an actual visual representation. Now the first step, is to download a special version of the game. It's basically just the regular version of JP, but it's been modified slightly to receive the English translations. You can also make it clear that there are no mods or cheats that are on this version, so there's no like, you know, infinite attack, infinite HP or anything like that. It is just a base form of JP. Um, it can be installed also with your other version of JP, like just the regular version. It can be installed side by side. So you can have the regular JP that you get from like Who app or whatever, or from DBZ, DBZ space, and also have this one running side by side. So step one, go to this link right here and download the, the new game file. So you download that, it's about a 90 minute, 90 minute, no. Well, it could be a 90 minute download if you have really slow internet, but it's a 90 megabyte download and it shouldn't take too long if your internet is decent. As you can see, we're already about three quarters, or no, not three quarters. We were about one third of the way there and we're now about halfway there. So it'll get that done. And you wanna go back to the post now. And the second step would actually to be uh, to download an app that allows you to install the JP or the English translation files into this version of the game. So second step, here we go, download this patcher application. You click that, click that link, and when you first go into it, there's gonna be a little button that says become a tester or something like that, I don't remember exactly, but something about being a tester, you click that to confirm, and then you'll be able to access this link here to download it on Google Play. So you just install it. It's the Uni Dokkan JP patcher. It says unreleased because it still is in its testing phases. So we got that app now. And last but not least, you want to go back to that post. And step three would be to download the patch for the English translation files. It's another Mediafire download. It's only 15 megabytes. So overall, you're looking at about 100 megabytes, 110 megabytes worth of data. So it's not a ton. It's not a lot. Now, everything seems to be done now. Now, the next step. Actually, I totally forgot. I need to uninstall the Dokkan first. So here we go. You uninstall that. So I just uninstalled my Uni Dokkan thing that you guys are gonna be installing very, very soon. We go over to a file manager now. You should have one built into your phone, but if you don't, then just get it from the Google Play Store. I don't really know anyone specifically, but there are a lot out there. So just get a file manager and you go to your downloads tab or your download folder. So there's my download folder. This is the APK that we just downloaded for this version of JP Dokkan. You install it, should take like I don't know, 30 seconds at most, maybe a minute, depending on how fast or how slow your phone is. Now, it's installed for me. <clears throat> wow, that was weird. It installed for me. You wanna open it and let it fully uh, install. So basically you're going through the Hercule screen, you click on that, click OK, uh, confirm. Um, this doesn't really matter. Just keep, keep clicking OK and then let it load and then let it do the data download as well. That's important because the first time I tried to install it, I just installed the app and then immediately tried to inject the translation files and it didn't work for me. So wait for this to completely do the data download. I, uh, I don't know why actually it's downloading so many assets. Usually, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because it still kept the file from before my old account, but basically it should, if it's the first time you're doing this, it should be like, a, be like a 238 asset download. So it should be really quick, maybe like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. For me, it's gonna take a little bit longer because it seems like it's downloading all the data files from the previous account that I was, that I re-rolled for the purpose of this video. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Um, I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so the download is finishing up now and we should be ready to move on to the next step real soon. Just about another 100 or so. Okay, we're good. All right, perfect. So now that's done. You want to exit out of the game, completely close it. Don't just minimize it. You want it to be like completely, completely shut down. 
and then you go to the other app that you downloaded, the Uni Dokkan JP Patcher, click Browse for Mod, and then look for where you downloaded those uh, English translation files. So for me personally, it's in my SD card, and it's in Download. For your device, it should be in some sort of download folder as well. You click on that, just checkbox, select, click select, and it's done. That's it. It literally just did it in like 0.1 seconds. All the English translations are now in my version of JP Dokkan. All I have to do is now go back to the file, to the to the app rather, and it should it should be good to go. There you go, guys. English translations on JP Dokkan English links. English passive, English categories, um, English missions. Just absolutely, absolutely insane, guys. Thank you so much. Huge, huge shout out to Marketing3 and Thieving6 for all of your hard work, the whole Doha community. Thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. I know I'm just one person, but I know that everyone else feels the same way. You guys are the real MVPs because you guys didn't have to do this. You didn't get compensated for it. You did it with your own free time out of the kindness of your hearts and you guys are freaking awesome. Anyways guys, that is the translated version of JP Dokkan. Like I said, use at your own risk. This is only the first version. We don't know what Bandai or Akatsuki will do with it or if, if or if not, they will do anything about it. We don't know yet. Um, there will be probably more versions in the future, but for the time being, this is what we got and it's freaking awesome. Now, that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, and you want to see more of it, then consider, maybe, just maybe, hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad. Now, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.